So why is more and more people being diagnosed with AFib globally to be an epidemic? Meaning that 38 million people across the globe is experiencing AFib. In the United States, uh, it's considered to be almost 12 million people by 2023 to be diagnosed with AFib. When you search social, social sites, um, you'll find a lot of information, mainly by doctors, that's talking about treatments, but not too many people is talking about why is this happening. So before I go any further in the video, uh, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Um, I am someone that's basically sharing my experience, uh, struggles and challenges with having AFib, and any information that I share is purely solely for educational purposes. Before I was diagnosed, um, I was on no medications and basically just taking supplements and vitamins. So the question is, what is AFib? Uh, AFib is short for uh, atrial fibrillation, and basically that's having an irregular heartbeat. So what that means is your heart rate can go anywhere from 80 beats to 100 beats per minute, quickly to 160 to even 200 beats per minute, not doing any activity. So with your heart beating that fast, um, that could be definitely dangerous to you and very stressful for your heart. So what are some signs? Uh, there are three signs, typically. Um, one, maybe you're having a racing heart or heart palpitations. Uh, two, it could be shortness of breath. And three, uh, some of the ones I, I commonly most experience is dizziness. So I could literally be driving my car, sitting down, open the door to get out, and I start to feel lightheaded. So what should you do if you think you're experiencing AFib? Um, definitely go see a doctor right away. Uh, typically when you go to a doctor, they're gonna do a couple of things. One of the things that they're gonna do is hook you up to what is called an EKG. EKG is basically hooking you up with a couple of wires around your chest and your abdomen area uh, to really just check the rhythm of the, your heart. The next thing they're gonna do is probably prescribe you uh, some medication. So usually it's two forms of medication. Uh, one is, the, is, is a blood thinner to help prevent uh, blood clot and stroke. And the second prescription is basically a heart rhythm uh, medication, which is to help stabilize your heart. Um, those are the two things, two medications that they're most likely gonna to prescribe to you right away. And again, as I mentioned, I'll hook you up to EKG. Also, during that consultation, uh, they're probably going to say, you know, there's, there's going to be some lifestyle adjustments that you're going to have to make uh, right away. Uh, one of the biggest ones are, is for me uh, that they shared with me was caffeine. So anything that's a stimulant when it comes to uh, increasing your heart rate, they definitely are going to recommend that you stay away from caffeinated beverages. So, of course, coffee um, or any energy drink. OK, that's very important. So you're probably asking yourself, why am I sharing all this information? So at the time I got diagnosed with AFib, um, other than what the doctors were saying and, and the treatments that were available, I mean, it was really no one talking about it. I couldn't find anyone I could relate to to kind of better understand what this condition means for me and, and, and the struggle and, er, you know, everything that comes with just the fear of, you know, your, something's wrong with your heart. So um, I created this channel. Uh, it's more like a PSA, public service announcement, uh, just to you know, be a resource for folks that either has big diagnosed with AFib or just anyone that you may know that has AFib. And you can share this video, you can share this channel. So going forward, uh, I'll definitely share more videos um, about devices you can use to help uh, track and manage uh, your heart rate. Also, um, I'll share little short stories about actually how my daughter and my dad got AFib as well. AFib is something that you can um, eventually live with, but it will affect the quality of your life. So if this video was helpful, be sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe. Uh, that way it'll help the channel grow. And as more and more people continue to get diagnosed with AFib, um, hopefully I could be just a resource for folks and to give them, um, you know, just a better understanding of how this will affect their lives. So again, I appreciate you taking time. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.